Hey guys, it's Kelsey and back with another scrapbooking process video and today is Stretch the Sketch. Uh, if you guys have been following along, you know Stretch the Sketch is when we usually get a 12 by 12 sketch that we either have to squish down into a smaller format, format or pull out into a bigger format. Today's kind of fun because we get to pick our own sketch and it's supposed to be a non 12 by 12 sketch and we're supposed to make it a 12 by 12. So that's super exciting because I love working in 12 by 12. It's my favorite format. So I picked a double page. You guys saw that sketch in the beginning there and I'm gonna squish it down into a 12 by 12. And I thought that was perfect because I have this one plaque that my hospital was presented with at work. We work with the um, police department in town with their canine companions and um, they just presented us with a little plaque saying thank you for your support and they also dropped off these are so cool they're little like trading cards that they made for their canine dog <laughs> like their police dogs and i think those are so cool so i ended up they had a, some extras so i just took two of each and i washi taped those together you saw in the beginning there so that if i wanted to i could pull out this um this page and flip up the picture and you can read all their information on the back of the card. So I think that's so cool. I love that they made these little trading cards for their dogs. I think it's the cutest thing. So I really wanted to get them all on a page together. Um, and I felt like that sketch was perfect for this. So I have one of the cards to the left there and then I have my main photo and the other two to the right. I really think that helps replicate the sketch I'm working from. And I decided to pull in a neutral 12 by 12 and then basically a bunch of like golds and greens and blacks. I really wanted this page to read very masculine. Um, this collection has a lot of pinks in it <laughs> and uh, a lot of color. When I first saw it, I, I immediately saw the rainbow and thought girly. But there's a lot of things in this collection you can make masculine. You, there's a lot of stuff that you can do boy pages with. So I really wanted to showcase that on this layout and make it look very like military, very, you know, guy-ish. <laughs> so I'm starting out with this neutral background. I pulled in this scrap from the grassy landscape paper I had. That's going to be my longer horizontal layer. I love the introduction of the green. And then you can see I'm just adding um, some distressing around the edges. I really wanted to pull in some brown distressing. <laughs> right now, I have a white mat around the photo. I have my kind of creamy white background. And then I also did a scalloped border punch on a ledger branding strip. And all of the whites were kind of blending together. You couldn't really see the edges of everything. So by inking everything, you can really see the definition of the edges and really see all of those layers. Um, but I think this is such a cool design. When I, As soon as I saw that double page spread, I was like, that is perfect. <laughs> uh, so that sketch in the beginning, you kind of saw there is a cluster um, to the upper left-hand corner of these layers, and there's kind of a cluster to the lower right of the smallest photo. So I'm just, I know my embellishment clusters are going to go there. I really like how that kind of frames my photo area <laughs> already. So... I'm kind of happy I have a sketch to work from that kind of does all that work for me. Um, I'm almost done inking here and then I will go ahead and gut the long horizontal band that's going to be covered by all of this stuff uh, just because I, I love gutting this month and this is a perfect page to explain why because you can see that tiny little grassy green scrap I saved from that previous page. I was kind of wondering when I was gutting it if I was actually going to end up using that scrap and now here I am using it and I can't picture this page without that layer so I think it looks so cool I'm so glad I saved that from that previous page but I'm just going to go ahead and glue this down I did just um, patch that hole really quick with a scrap piece of black paper just so um, it's more stable and I kind of have a background to glue all this stuff down on but I'm going to glue down the grassy layer. I'm going to go ahead and glue down my photo and then I'll go ahead and position all of these little cards as well. Uh, but I think those are so cool. These dogs are like no joke. They are professional police dogs and they're a little bit scary. <laughs> X-Ray is retired so um, he's a good boy and Wolf is very young so I don't think he knows he's supposed to be scary yet. <laughs> uh, he's still kind of just a big goober but Odin is like 
terrifying. <laughs> He's like the dog they employ to like chase down criminals or something like that. Um, all these dogs are drug dogs, but Odin is one of them that helps in the capture of criminals. So he will tackle you. Um, they always are super professional when they come in, though. The handlers have their muzzles on and, you know, try to do as safe as possible. But Odin is no joke. <laughs> <laughs> so I just wanted to kind of note all of that. And I love that the backs of these cards have all their information. So I can kind of look and see um, all the specifics of what they do. <laughs> but now that I have that down, I have my branding stripped down. That little scallop detail was another part of the sketch I really wanted to pull in. And again, using a branding strip always makes me really happy because I feel like I'm using stuff that would normally get thrown away and I always feel really satisfied when I can get that on a page as an actual element. <laughs> and then with all of the black accents on these cards, I really wanted to pull in some of the black that's in this collection. Um, this collection is very colorful and I think for the most part it would be hard for me to use black, but on this page it was like the perfect excuse to pull some in. So I have that black triangular print from my 6x8. A little paper stash there. I'm just cutting two little strips to stack top and bottom of the main photo. Um, that's a detail that's on the sketch, but I really like how it helps draw your eye to the main focus of the page. And I love the introduction of the black because uh, if you guys saw that previous page I did where I pulled in black, I have some black stickers I really want to get on here. So right away that kind of gives me an excuse. So my main layers are down now. I uh, pretty much just have to do my embellishment clusters, but the layers themselves were still reading a little flat. I just wanted something a little more to give it a little bit more oomph. And of course, this collection, I have um, some rub-ons that coordinate really, really well. So I had to pull in some rub-ons on this page. Um, we're doing pretty good this month about getting rub-ons on every page. <laughs> and this one I thought was so cool. It was from one of the kind of uh, map ones. But part of the text in the scripty part says, uh, I'm kind, it's kind of hard to read because it's a little bit distressed, but it says, of the world drawn from the belt, authorities and something, something, something. But for whatever reason, authorities stood out to me and I was like, oh, it's on a police page. So that kind of makes sense. But I love the little scripty detail. I love the kind of mixed media uh, tones that these ribbons add to a page. I think they're so cool. So I'm using this kind of scripty part with the little compass and a little chunk of the map uh, to run across the bottom of these layers. And then there's a like a distance key. I don't know the tech the correct terminology for this piece I'm putting down now, <laughs> but I, I wanted to run that across the top of my layers. That way, it's just kind of framed in this distressed ribbon. And I think that adds so much to the layeriness of this page. I think it looks so cool using rub-ons this way. Uh, I'm really enjoying digging into that pack this month, if you can't tell. <laughs> but I'm just going to get that down. Thankfully, I did have this black layer that kind of extended higher and lower, so I didn't have to use the rub-on in that spot. So because I kind of had that gap, it helped these rub-ons stretch perfectly <laughs> across the distance of that green layer. But I think that looks so cool and that just changed the whole page for me. <laughs> and now that I have that down, I kind of want to start working on my layers. I know I want kind of a larger layer uh, on the top here. <clears throat> I really want to pull in some more green. <laughs> I'm definitely pulling in something green, something black, something gold in every layer here. So you can kind of see me playing around with that. But I know I want this green tag and I really want to use one of these little gold leaf fronds. I think those look real cool. And so that's kind of what I'm starting with there. I kind of already pulled in the inspire golden word to be in the bottom right hand corner. And I really like that, that idea. I'm just trying to be cognizant as I'm putting down this lower right hand corner I really want to still be able to lift up these cards to read the information on the back. So I just need to make sure as I'm gluing things down, I'm not sealing that card, that lift up pocket <laughs> down. <laughs> uh, but with this little empty corner over on the right here, I really wanted a soft layery detail. So I just cut the edge of a glassine bag to kind of tuck in over there. So that's getting glued down. <clears throat> I think that looks super cute. So this is kind of the rough mapping out of my embellishment clusters. I really like that vellum dreamy word up there, but it's really getting lost. And as I start building out these clusters, 
Um, my title goes up there, so I really don't need the dreamy. So you'll see that gets taken off. But just so you can kind of have a general idea of where I'm planning these clusters to go, you can see I'm going to go ahead and pull in a bunch of these stickers to try and figure out what I want to do. I was thinking about using some of the green stickers on this dictionary sheet. One is a definition for tough. So I thought that would be really cool because these dogs are super tough. But once I started looking at the black ones, I really wanted to pull in black anyways because I have introduced black through the pattern paper. But some of these stickers, you guys, okay, so one of them says dare, uh, and it kind of gives you the definition of dare, you know, to have the boldness to try, venture, hazard. And then there's the definition for challenging, <laughs> adjective, offering a challenge, testing one's ability, endurance, etc. And then there's a smaller sticker that says challenge accepted. <laughs> And I don't know why that makes me giggle so much, but with these dogs, they are a challenge when they come in. They are beasts. They are meant to take down full grown men who are trying to like run for their lives. So my little old me <laughs> trying to pull blood on them is just not, they're not about it, even with their handlers. So they're tough and they're a challenge when they come in. And Odin has to be completely sedated most of the time when we have to do stuff with him. Um, because he's so tough. So I, for whatever reason, that combination of stickers, I felt like just told the story in itself. And it just makes me laugh that there's the definition for challenging, which are these dogs. And I put it right above Odin when you, uh, when I actually get around to putting them on the page, the challenging adjective <laughs> goes right over Odin's picture. And then the little challenge accepted. Um, I think those two stickers together on this page is everything. <laughs> Uh, but I'm back to kind of beefing out my clusters a little bit. I wanted to kind of have some background layers for these other things to sit on top of. So my sticker sheet had this really nice journaling spot that says today, pretty neutral, black and white. Uh, so I added that down there. And then you can see I added my title from the sticker book. I just decided to call it canine unit. Um, <clears throat> And now that I have the big sticker down, I can kind of layer up on top of that. Definitely wanted to pull in some more labels, trying to pull in multiple layer labels on every page this month because um, there's so many cute labels that come in this collection. <laughs> so I just layered up a black one there on top of that journaling spot. I'll end up pulling a green one in, I think, over on my secondary cluster. Um, but I'm just kind of focusing on this top cluster for now. I wanted to use the scrap of the, this glassine bag, <laughs> but because I took the edge of it, it kind of was looking kind of weird. Um, but just trying to get the positioning down. I'm pretty sure that's where the tag and the leaf stays, but I don't know if I glue them down yet or not. I definitely want to pull in some more word stickers. I'm trying to look balance wise. I really like what the green adds to the cluster on the top. Um, and I do like this little gold frond, but I kind of want something else gold on the other side of the tag leading into the black title, just so that's kind of balanced up there. So I'm just going through my sticker book and trying to figure out what I want to do. <laughs> I do end up pulling in um, some photo corners. I don't know if I do that now yet. I was really hemming and hawing if I wanted the green photo corners or gold photo, photo corners. Um, but I definitely end up going with these big gold ones. And I think those look really cool on this page too. <laughs> right now, everything's really clustered around the center of the page. And I really think these gold photo corners help kind of frame in the rest of the page, kind of how it did on that first layout I made with this collection. But I think those are so cool. I love using photo corners and I don't use them all that often, but when they come in a collection and they coordinate, I like can't say no. <laughs> and there's a whole sheet of photo corners on there. I don't even know if I'm gonna have enough layouts to use those all on, because I don't really want them on every single layout I made make this month, but um, I think those are cool. So that kind of gives you a little gold around the edges of the layout, which I think is cool. I did just thread some white and black twine through that tag. And I think now that I have the twine through the tag, I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down. I did add a little love this gold banner. I think that is the perfect addition of gold to that cluster. And now I'm just trimming the edges of um, these two clusters, the things that are hanging off the page. <laughs> So that's perfect. What I ended up doing is I glued this Inspire to the actual card, the picture of X-Ray, and then all the other layers are going to go behind that. That way I can lift up the Inspire and it'll lift up X-Ray's picture. <laughs> so I don't know if you'll see that later on, but as I was looking at these clusters, I just kind of wanted some extra layery details for the background. And again, I don't know if I was just feeling facetious or something, but there's tickets in the rub on pack. And I know they're not the same types of tickets you get from like breaking law and getting a, a ticket from a police officer, but I liked the correlation. <laughs> so there's two tan 
um, distressed rub-on tickets. I'm going to add to each of these clusters just to add a little bit more um, detail in the background. I think they end up looking so cool, but <laughs> that was kind of my um, my idea when I saw them. I was like, oh, haha, ha, they're policemen. I'm going to put tickets on the page. <laughs> I had too much fun with this layout with all of the like symbolism and stuff, but I think those look really, really cool. <laughs> so I'm always going to be happy when I get more rub-ons used up as well because I have so much rub-ons to use this month that I just think that looks awesome. <laughs> but here I am, I decided to go ahead and get the black stickers down. So I added the dare in the top cluster and then you can see I'm putting the challenging sticker right over Odin. <laughs> He's earned that sticker and then I'll end up putting the challenge accepted over by the inspire um, so I like how that kind of creates that diagonal trickle effect um, I love the boldness of the black but I just think the uh, context is hilarious I don't know why it's so funny uh, but going back through my sticker book trying to see if there's anything else I want to use I think this is where I find my little green circular sticker um, same with the yellow one I already used. I'm, I only really need half of it because it's going to be hidden behind layers. So I'm just saving the other half of that label uh, for a future page. But I just added that little green circular label over there by the Inspire cluster. And then I'm trying to look for finishing touches. I definitely want to use some of the hearts that come in this collection. But I definitely wanted to pull in some old epoxy stash as well. So I have these two little cute like sage green stars. Um, and for whatever reason, stars remind me of police officers. I don't know if sometimes their badges are in the star shape if they're a sheriff and stuff like that. I mean, not always. I don't know exactly how that works and who gets the star badge versus the shield badge. But um, I wanted to use those little green uh, star epoxy shapes. So I get those on there. And then this is where I'm going in with some of the hearts in the collection. <laughs> so I love this little green vellum heart, too. I had to get that on this page. So... I end up gluing that uh, green vellum heart up there and then moving the little gold sticker to overlap it so it creates a little cute cluster. To me, it's kind of also symbolic of the officers and their dogs because they have this big green heart that's kind of like the officer and then his little gold partner, which is his dog. I don't know. I think I'm the only one that's going to pick up on that, but I just thought that was a really cute kind of... Um, mirroring of the photo because in the photo you can t see two of our main clients that bring Wolf and Odin the most um, <laughs> are in that photo with the cruiser and I just thought that was a cute little mirrored thing. <laughs> but I did go in and just add some gold Heidi Swap color shine to some of these empty areas just to add a little bit of glimmer and here are the close-ups. I had way too much fun with this layout. It was really fun squishing down a double page into a single 12 by 12 Make sure you check the description for everyone else playing along with Stretch This Sketch, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.